Oh, good morning, friends. For my talk today, this is geared towards all expectant mothers and fathers out there. So I have a couple of very dear friends who are expecting in the next few weeks. That time is exciting and can be scary because it's the unknown. The unknown of pregnancy, delivery, new baby. Oh, there's just so much. But the one thing that I wanted to tell you is everyone that you know is going to want to give you their advice. Yes, their advice. This is what happened to me during my pregnancy, during the delivery, during the first few days, few months. This is all the things that happened to me and my baby or babies if you have more than one that's all well and good thank you for sharing i appreciate the information i will take it under advisement <laughs> it's not you this, this is all about them and their baby it's not about you it's not about your baby so when people want to tell you all the wonderful things or scary things that happen, just put it under your hat, right? Just put it under your hat and smile and say thank you. Be nice and then brush it off because it's not you. This is not you. This is not the stuff that's going to happen to you or the stuff that could happen to your baby. All the stuff that people want to share with you is just because they care. They care and they want to see your experience as wonderful or different than what they experienced. Like I said, it's all well and good. And, and yes, please listen to what they have to share with you. But also know that you're not them. That you are you. This is your pregnancy. This is your baby. And we all appreciate people's perspectives, people's experiences. It, it is knowledge, information that perhaps we can use, but always know that it is their experience. It is their firsthand knowledge. And mothers, mothers-in-laws, fathers-in-laws, fathers, friends, co-workers, community members are all excited for you. They're all waiting for your bundle of joy to come into your world. And it's a precious time. And it's a scary time because this could be your first baby or perhaps another baby and you're juggling. What are you going to do with the other little ones? How are you going to present a new sibling to them? But whatever you do is the right thing. You are the mother, the father, and whatever you do is right because you know what's best and all of the things that people share with you 
you just put them under your hat and you say thanks and know that your experiences are going to be beautiful yes they may be scary at times if you write things down it would be a great story to share with your child when they get old enough to listen. Children love listening about stories about themselves. And if you write it down, boy, they would love for you to tell them. That's just food for thought. <laughs> but yes, ask your doctor or your nurse Go to the hospital as many times as you need to for checkups or perhaps a false labor because they'd rather have you come in than not and deliver at home. Yeah, let's just skip that part. We don't want to be delivering at home. The safest place is to be delivering, you know, at a hospital. If you're someone that's given birth before and it's never a big deal, maybe a midwife is the way you want to go, but that's always your choice. So know that your labor, your baby, will be not like everyone else's. Your story will be your story. It's not gonna go exactly the same as Aunt Verna, who had triplets. And she never had enough milk. <laughs> whatever, whatever it is. Your story will be yours and yours alone. And your significant other, husband, friend, who's there with you, will share in the amazing blessing that labor and delivery and a new baby brings. They will share in your experience in your feelings, your emotions, your nervousness, being scared, being excited, they are there for you. So when your loved one is there with you, know that they are there for you. They are there to help you along. Scream and holler at them if you need to. <laughs> They'll understand they're not going through all of this. You are. So whatever happens is what's going to happen. And you won't know it until it does. And then one day you can share your experience with others because that's what we do. We share because we care. And we want to see a beautiful experience for you and we are excited for you but one day when you share your experience the person that's listening will take that and put it under their hat because their experience will be their own but you can share in the joy peace everyone